Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis video, and I'm just about to go to bed on this Thursday night, and my Discord starts blowing up. We've got a big patch drop for Ever Crisis. We got new banners, which I'm not gonna lie. When I saw we were getting new banners again, I was like, really? This is uh, the game's been out for seven days, and this is our second new banner. What? I was a little worried about that, but overall, this patch is actually really, really good. So let's take a look at what we're getting and go over the new banner see what the new weapons are cloud and Aerith, my two s rank characters in the tier list i just did just got some new stuff so let's check it out first of all we're going to jump into the notices here i want to talk about what we're getting that's not in the banners first let's go ahead and jump over make this a little bigger for you so the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer is out. Now, I haven't get, watched this yet. I want to watch it like I want to have a fresh reaction to it, but I'm dead tired tonight. I'm not going to go watch it right now. What's nice, though, is we are getting 2,400 blue crystals for this, a four-star weapon draw ticket guaranteed times two, stamina tonics times 29. We all need those. And that's all. that all goes till October 15th. So really nice reward right there just for the announcement of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I say just for the announcement of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, like that's some kind of like not a huge deal. Obviously, that's a huge deal. Still, that game's over a year away. Maybe we'll get even better stuff for Ever Crisis once Rebirth really drops. Now, we are getting, we'll come back to the banners in a minute, the 5 million downloads campaign. This is also live right now, and we're getting a ton of good stuff. Make sure, by the way, you are checking out the official Twitter page for Ever Crisis and retweeting their tweet about this. We're going to get draws based on the number of retweets we get. So hook everybody up, go do that. So here's what we're getting. Um, as of the 14th at 7 p.m., Pacific time, which is in two hours ago, mine time. Uh, the 5 million download celebration daily free tin draw is on now. So draw once a day up to 70 draws. So we're all getting 70 free draws this week at least. And I think we're getting at least 10 more than that. Then depending on how many retweets we get, it's up to 100 free draws. I'll do my polls at the end of this video for day one right here. So that's really great. Then we're also getting the 10 poll free tickets today. Maybe I'll do those as well. And here's a little event, the 5 million download celebration, rare enemy encounter event. So you know how you encounter like cactars rarely in missions and they like give you more drops. There's now gonna be metal cactars you'll encounter as well that give a bunch of character experience. Really good for pushing those character levels because it's slow. The characters level up slow in this game. The higher level you get, you can, you know, increase your character ability boards so that's really great it says massive exp i've yet to fight one so that's pretty cool then we got five million download celebration packs including new free packs so we'll go check those packs out in the store as well i want to go to the banners next let's go see what's going on with the new draw i want to talk about the new weapons give you a little breakdown on those so here's my daily free tin pull i'll do that here in a second here's the new banner now we're getting a weapon for cloud and Aerith. let me give you a little breakdown on those so cloud's weapon the maritime sword is a really really good weapon for cloud it is a water-based single target physical dps attack essentially adding another element to cloud where you know he could continue to excel as your main dps Physical damage, that's what he specializes in. Water, single target, it's great. It has boost physical attack for our ability one and boost water potency for water ability two. Very similar to what the Murasame has and we've seen the impact of that. Now, I don't know if as many people will get this because I feel like, I don't know how people are doing on their gyms right now. Um, even with all these giveaway gyms that we're getting, I don't know if a lot of people are swimming in gyms. Still, I think if you pull for this, you won't be disappointed. And I probably will do some polls for this this weekend. I'm not going to do them tonight. I'm way too tired to think clearly. So that's Cloud's weapon. And then we've got the Sun Umbrella coming out here for Aerith. So the move on this, the ability Night Bloom, 540 magic, non-elemental damage, single target. It also physical defense decrease mid rank now it's not always mid rank it's low rank at only one copy but it scales up to mid rank and again the scaling on these limited weapons is something you got to pay attention to you're probably not going to get 10 duplicates of this right so you're um at max rank it's a mid-level debuff still a low level debuff is useful um it also 
debuffs their magic defense. So it's kind of similar to Tifa's Limit Break in that way, where it debuffs both physical and magic defense. The R abilities boost magic attack. It's a DPS Aerith weapon for magic damage. That's really nice. And then boost magic ability potency. Attack, stance, command, max gauge ability damage plus 5% um is that for the whole group or just for Aerith? if that's for the whole group it's kind of insane and anyway the theme of this weapon seems to be hey look it's a damage weapon for Aerith if you want her to do something besides heal which she will be doing things besides just healing in a fight and it gives her some utility i think these are two very good weapons just at first look for cloud and Aerith. then of course we're getting some new outfits as well the Maritime Soul Sailor outfit is boost HP and water mastery plus 10. So um, similar to the lightning element specific cloud outfit, this is a water specific cloud outfit. The boost HP, okay, that's fine. HP is never a bad thing. But getting 10 points on water mastery here, water ability damage plus 20%. Yep. If you get the new sword, you probably want this for any kind of water build that you're planning with the guy. And then the sunny robe, I mean... Besides being a thirst trap, it has very generically good R abilities on it. Once again, boost HP, but boost magic attack. Hey, you're going to be stacking that on Aerith or your magic damage dealing units a lot. I think it's a good piece of gear right there. And I don't think you could lose. If you're maining either Cloud or Aerith and you decide to go for these limited items, good luck. I think they're both worth going for just on first glance. That's kind of my breakdown right there. Once again, the... um stamp sheet working the same way as the previous ones so there's that now i want to also go look at the pack so let's jump into the shop real quick which i failed to hey i got it in the first try i mess up going to the shop all the time so here's your 5 million downloads free pack that we're getting plenty of really good stuff in there i like free things i will take the freebies then we have a couple more packs right here anything from 20 dollars all the way up to 70. So let's kind of look at these. I'll give you my opinion if I think any of these are any good. The $20 one has two guaranteed five-star gotcha tickets. I think a lot of people will buy this, but keep in mind, this is generic pool gotcha tickets. It's just accelerating the pace at which you get generic like dupes. I don't know if that's necessarily a great deal. Still 3,200 red crystals. You can do a lot with that. For 38 bucks, you get 700 uh, blue crystals as a bonus to go with your 6,200 red crystals, crystals and 50 stamina pots. So this will be the one that probably accelerates your build faster. This will give you a lot more power just via being able to farm some more. If you're somebody who's like tapped out their stamina. This pack right here, this first $70 pack, this is interesting because this is our first, uh, this is some of our first access or some of our earliest access to generic weapon dupes for units. So this one is Cloud, Red, and Lucia. You can buy it one time, I believe. Yes, yeah, stock one out of one. Then there's a pack for Zach, Aerith, and Matt. And then there's a pack for Tifa, Barrett, and Glenn. So here's the deal. Essentially what you're paying for right here, it's 80 bucks, 70 bucks. That's expensive. Like we're getting into the expensive range here. You get a lot of red crystals, which you could use on a banner or for any of those red crystal packs out there. And you're getting one and a half duplicates split up among three characters. You're getting half of a weapon dupe for Cloud, Red, and Lucia. Keep in mind that these generic unit weapon dupes are incredibly valuable. The reason I say that is, let's say you have Mirasame, and your goal is to someday max out Mirasame. That banner is going to go away, or say it's the Maritime Sword, this new one. Those banners are going to go away. Your access to those duplicates, like through pulling, will go away as well. These generic packs um, or generic weapon dupes can be used to enhance those weapons. And as long as that remains the case, they have a lot of value for limited time stuff. We already, essentially we already have access to ways to power up our limited time gear later into the future through these weapon packs and things. So anyway, that's what this patch is. I'm gonna need to, eventually I'll figure out a smoother way of releasing these videos. I hate releasing two videos this close together back to back, but this is too much news to ignore. Big stuff dropping. I like almost every piece of this. Uh, I said we'll do some pulls. Let's do some draws. Let's end this video with a free draw on my daily 5 million 10 pull. Let's get a lot of five stars right here. Come on, let's do it. 
five stars, five stars, five stars. And I can't, who, can, who else can't wait for Sephiroth to be in this game? And hey, if you watch the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer, save spoil, like put, don't put spoilers in the comments for me here. We crashed the game. We're going to do this poll. If, it, if the poll bugged out and I don't get to see it, I'm going to be really disappointed. Anyway, what I was saying was, if you've seen the Rebirth trailer already, I'm not going to watch it till after work tomorrow. Um, I want to be fresh. Like, I, I want to experience that thing truly. Let me know if you liked it, if you're excited for Rebirth, and then just try not to spoil anything. If there's some big, like, Zack news in there, which I bet there is, because that was really teased at the end of the last remake, um, I would be very surprised. Did they just do a patch? Who knows? Maybe there's another patch rolling out right now. The only thing that the patch notes really said they fixed was bug problems. So let's see, is my free draw still there? gone it's gone is there like a history oh that so sucks i miss my free draw dang it now i do think i we do have gifts let me collect, claim my gifts right here we'll do this 10 poll with these tickets then let's do this 10 poll i want to end this video with a poll and i i wish you could see your history i feel like you should be able to but here's one 10 poll anyway let's see if this doesn't crash the game last time seth Frost showed up on the screen he treated us like Aerith bending over in a cavern somewhere. Definitely getting one five star because we got Cloud in his samurai outfit. How many? One. It's Tifa though. So Tifa's a big win for us. Let's see what Tifa. It's a new Tifa weapon here. We're catching the. Okay, the motor drive. Let's awesome. What is that? What's that one look like? Off the top of my head, I don't know. So we upgrade the motor drive, which I think is what I'm leveling right now. It's physical wind damage with boost physical attack. Yes, this is one I've been leveling in its four star version for that boost physical attack. So upping this, you can see I got it at level 50 already. This pushed my boost physical attack to 20 points, which almost gets it to level four by itself. That's a nice pull for me right there. So there we go. I wonder if my other 10 pull was any good. Okay, just see if that gave me an option to look at my previous pulls. Dang. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, enjoy the new patch. Good luck on your polls if you're polling. And have a good one. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.